Telemetry sent back to Michigan for analysis helps find the answer. Turns out the problem is with a small part inside the pump. What we found is that the impeller, which is part of the fuel pump, and that's this part, was basically out of spec by a hundredth of a millimeter too thick. What that ended up doing was welding itself to the end cap, therefore it seized the pump. It probably cost 10 or 15 cents. On the last scheduled test day, a 15 cent part has stopped a $50,000 sports car dead in its tracks. The C6 testing in Germany is over. But the lessons learned on brakes, cooling and handling are already being incorporated into the final car back in Michigan. They're confident the C6 can hold its own in the European market. This trip has been incredibly successful. Uh, we've gotten an awful lot of really good information off the track. I think even more so, we've gotten a lot more information about European usage of our cars on the Autobahn. This has been a terrific trip, absolutely outstanding. After the magazine exposure, Team Corvette is taking no chances with the near-finished show cars. It's just two weeks till launch. Until then, the car will stay out of sight. The wait to find out what's beneath the covers is becoming unbearable for fans. The C6 clearly has Corvette blood in its veins, but it's unlike anything seen before. This is the first time I've seen the complete package, and yeah, wow, it is very exciting. I, I, I would like to operate all the swing panels. It, it, it is uh, coming together of all the hard work that's gone into it, and uh, it is a very strong, powerful statement. The lessons learned on the open road have been put into this car. The new front end with its exposed headlights and huge air intake. 400 horsepower engine, improved braking, handling, and aerodynamics. And the new trunk latch works. The anticipation certainly seems real high. The car seems to be very much in the news. A lot of website traffic, a lot of interest in the car. All that interest is now focused on the launch. It's make or break time. Does the C6 live up to Corvette tradition? Will it meet the fans' expectations? America's Corvette lovers have been waiting seven years for the C6, and finally, they're here for the launch. Backstage, Dave Hill is entitled to be nervous. The first impressions created tonight matter. Four years' hard work is about to be judged in a glance. I myself, I think I'm okay. Uh, you know, there was uh, there were times when we wondered uh, if we got the, if we got it just right. Uh, is it going to be uh, enough change? Is it going to be the right kind of change? Will we have addressed all of the things that we wanted to address? These are the true believers, lovers of previous generations of Corvette, easily shocked by the new. These guys love the car they have. If they don't like what Dave's done to it, they could well become a lynch mob. Demand is so high to be at the official launch, it's being held at Detroit's 2000 seat opera house. The presentation is carried live to the world on the Corvette website. At last, the wraps are coming off the C6. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2005 Chevrolet Corvette. The first look goes to the media. 
the show went really well, and I think the enthusiasm is uh, just like we wanted it to be. And now, the fans. We started doing our Cadillacs, and we're now doing it on I'm still uh, thinking about it. I'm pleasantly surprised. So, it's a lighting system that... The biggest change, and the hardest sell, those new headlights. And I think uh, you'll agree the lamps are distinctive and one of the outstanding attributes of the C6. The overall impression of the car with the uh, different headlights is, is still a, a beautiful vehicle. Like everything else, it'll take getting adjusted, but uh, it's there and uh, it'll grow on you. The car still does have brake cooling, but now the brake cooling ducts are a great big hole under here, aerodynamically located forward of the air dam. I just think they've done a great job of listening to the customer and doing the things we've complained about in the past. The closing is always going to be closed beautifully the first time on both sides. How are we doing so far? In fact, Dave is doing pretty well. I wasn't disappointed. I was pleasantly surprised. It seems the Cadillac man is delivered, and creating this car was no small task. At stake, 50 years of Corvette tradition. The shiny manifestation of America's fascination with the open road. We're proud of the whole car, the collaboration between engineering and design. But this is the high point. Seeing the smile on your faces is what we all work for. From the fans here, a mixture of relief and gratitude. Very, very much. Thank you so much. They were trusting Dave Hill and his team to get this right. The C6 needed to capture Corvette's race-hardened V8 power, delivered sleek as a Mako shark. I really like the idea they increased the horsepower. And we got a shirt for you. Ah, all right. For you. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. This is a car owned not by a company, but by generations. America's sports car. We're going to sell, sell a couple of our kids so we can get a new one. Dave, get ready. Uh, we need a couple hundred more right away, so we're ready for it. In delivering the C6, Dave Hill is welcomed into an exclusive club. Because Dave's one of us. That's right. All right. And an American icon lives on.